this video is specifically targeted at users that are using uh, Microsoft Teams for call planning. They're using Teams for making calls and uh, when they receive calls it comes through Microsoft Teams. They're, that's their voice over IP solution. Effectively in this video what we're going to go through is configuring Colleague 7 um, and downloading an application that sits alongside Teams that to support uh, effectively click to dial but also uh, inbound record pop-up when receiving calls. Uh, so from a colleague configuration standpoint uh, we enable this by going to global settings within the admin area and then within global settings if we go to the system section and there are three effectively three uh, sections that we need to look at um, one is this option of enable click to dial so that needs to be set to yes uh, the next option is the click to dial prefix which is defaulted to tell so you shouldn't have to worry about that it should be set to that automatically but um, if not then you need to set that um, and then the other option is the uh, prompt to create history function when using click to dial feature that needs to be set to yes as well so that's within global settings um, and then within search settings, if we go to this area quickly, there is also another option within search settings, which is when running a quick search, open record automatically if only one record is found. If you set that to yes, that just helps the um, inbound record pop-up function uh, works best. Um, so those are configuration settings with regards to um, colleague. What we'll now do is we'll go into the uh, extra application that needs to be downloaded to support this. So effectively what we now need to do is install an application that is going to work with your Teams application and ultimately prompt a um, record pop-up when you receive an inbound call. Um, and that is a solution called Teams Wizard, <clears throat> which is a free application. Um, if you go to a website called linkwizard.com, um, and this was actually advocated on a Microsoft forum um, as a solution for uh, popping up records on inbound from you when using Microsoft Teams. Um, so within this area, um, essentially you have an ability to download um, this option. So you go to the download page and you download this application. Teams Wizard is a free solution for private and business use. Um, so it's ultimately open for, for people to use. Um, so effectively you go to the uh, download section um, of this website um, and then you download the appropriate version um, of the software um, for your PC. So um, effectively, um, I downloaded this 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 version. But if you're using a, a, an x86, then you download that route. But mo most people, I'm, I'm, I'd imagine, will be on the 64-bit format. And you hit there to download the um, Teams Wizard application. So with the Teams Wizard now installed on your PC, the next step along is to go to your uh, protocols on your PC. Um, which is basically just another way of saying um, they're kind of instructions that uh, the PC follows when it's dealing with different commands. So URLs um, that trigger different applications. And what we effectively want to go to um, is the TEL protocol. So if we scroll down, there's this TEL protocol. And what we want to make sure is that Teams Wizard has been appointed as um, the option in here. So when you select the, uh, these applications, you're given a drop down of different applications that could be triggered uh, by um, that protocol and you select Teams Wizard so it's been set there. Um, the next thing to do with uh, the protocol set is actually look at the actual um, actual app itself. So if I just launch the, the app here. Um, and effectively what we need to do is configure the application um, so that it works with um, inbound calls. Um, now I'm going to provide instructions on what to put under the actions area um, within the description of this video and also um, with the accompanying web page that would be um, with this video. So um, you, you can review those um, settings uh, as part of this. But effectively what we're looking to do is under actions, first and foremost we need to tick to enable action on events. Um, and then on hitting edit actions you can see that you've got these actions that are being configured into the Teams wizard. Uh, and what you'll see is um, I'll, I'll provide instructions on how you go about setting up uh, an, an action for when you're uh, obviously receiving an incoming call. What's happening there? What's the expression? And in this case I'm, I'm 
configuring the expression of a plus four force that's a, a UK based number um, obviously if there's uh, other country codes that you're accustomed to receiving um, then effectively what we're trying to do is is take that uh, plus four four prefix that comes in uh, when you're receiving an international call and converting that uh, into a zero so that we, we can look that record up or look that number up against records in the system um, if they if you're not prone to using plus four four um, in records which obviously most aren't um, so that's effectively what's going on here uh, the type is URL um, and the command you'll see in, in this uh, video we've obviously got demo as the as the command but it will be login uh, colleague seven dot com um, uh, for your system and then arguments after that as well so uh, again that's effectively the um, telephone number being passed to the quick search so that as part of an inbound call coming in it's launching a new tab and it's performing a quick search on that phone number and then obviously if it finds a record it's then going to open that record and that's effectively what's happening here so again the instruction will be provided in an associated web page um, but with that all in place um, and working as expected what that effectively means um, is that when you have that set up when you receive a call as I'm doing now and that call comes in then the um, quick search is automatically triggered as you can see here and the uh, record is opened automatically uh, by the quick search and obviously you can then answer the call and you have the record open in front of you now to work through um, as, as you see fit the alternative route is that obviously you're making an outgoing call um, and in that scenario um, you're pressing on any of the phone numbers uh, that you can see here uh, and when pressing on the phone number from the record it obviously start making that phone call as you'd expect um, but also as part of making that phone call um, it will also uh, open up the history form and allow you to start typing the details of the conversation obviously the type will be set to telephone um, so that's how uh, you would make an outgoing call that call will be obviously triggered uh, through teams um, make that call but then you're at, at that point um, you're creating a history and entering the details in there and also the reverse is obviously you're receiving an incoming call and the records being uh, popped up and open so that you can obviously work with that call um, so that's the configuration that is possible uh, to allow for colleague 7 to integrate um, with Microsoft Teams mm -hmm.